Let's make history. As soon as the subway system opened in New York City in 1904, you have reports from local newspapers of children getting maimed and killed by trains while attempting to ride on the top of them as they're in motion. There were two young teenagers, two juveniles. One was killed and one was severely uh, injured. So it's always been around. Then in the 1980s, there was a spike when I was a kid, we used to ride on back of the bus. That's how it started. Then I figured, we figured you bring it up a notch. <laughs> that got a little boring. So we started riding on the back of the train. This is in the late eighties. And do remember reports of other people riding on top of the train, but it wasn't that common. So if subway surfing has been around for so long and social media has been around too, not as long, obviously, but what was it that caused the spike? The spike started in about 2020 and 2022. And what was happening during that time? COVID, which also drove up all sorts of reckless behavior. Alcoholism went up, suicides went up, murder went up, crime went up. The only thing that seems to have went down is IQ. Children's IQ across the board. That's been proven. Children born during the pandemic, on average, tend to have lower IQs. We even had a 50 year old a few weeks ago who died while subway surfing. Insane. Crediting social media, I don't know if that's fair, because when these videos go up, mostly on TikTok, it, you know, they say it inspires other people to do it. This is mostly, you do have older, men i haven't heard of any women or girls doing it but you do have men who subway surf but it's mostly uh, young teenagers the mta has requested to these social media platforms that they take the videos down and many have been taken down but at the same time many are still up leave your thoughts in the comments don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and X.